Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Port Jackson webinar. I'm joined with Victor Rosenberg, uh, CEO of Clearview. Um, we're very grateful to have Victor back again. We've done a few webinars with this brilliant company. As always, people, um, if you've got any questions, we'll answer those at the end. Uh, but you do have the chat function just to put it in so we can see that and answer those when we can. But Victor, as always, thank you very much for coming on and it's a pleasure seeing you once again. Yes, you know, it's been a while, but uh, good to be back again. And uh, thank you for having me. It's, it's a good. pleasure to be presenting to the Port Jackson uh, Securities once again and look forward to updating all the listeners. Excellent, excellent. Well, I understand that we've got some exciting news to get through. Um, yeah. and that's what the majority of the listeners will be wanting to. But of course, we've always got those new listeners that want to learn a little bit about the company. Um, we might just go through a brief presentation with that, um, and then we'll get into the activities that's happening in Europe and in America as well, because that's what people are really wanting to know. So um, we might just do that brief presentation. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. So they can't, I'm out of it, is it? That's perfect. Are you shared screen now? Yep, yep, we can see it. I thought we were going to be in it. How's that, Lachlan? Yeah, we can still see it. Yep. Great. And they see me. Yep, you're all good, Victor. Okay. Okay, so just to go through a bit of the uh, technology overview, uh, as I say, in case there are new people there that we need to refresh them. Firstly, Clearview is a smart building technology company. It's also a solution technology. It focuses on uh, sustainability, energy efficiency, positive environmental outcomes. The actual product itself is energy saving, energy producing, it's highly insulating, reduces the carbon footprint and has an efficiency of between three and four percent of radiance energy today. As I say, we are part of the solution for achieving zero net energy, zero net carbon and reducing the carbon footprint. And this will all come out later in my presentation when I talk about uh, the US, uh, about uh, the climate uh, conference that's coming on, etc. How does the technology work? The technology has micro and nanoparticles in an interlayer in the middle of the, uh, the glass. It's in a PVB layer. It has the ability to allow the visible light to come through, but it re rejects the infrared and the UV, so it prevents them from coming into the room. It converts the UV to the lower infrared range, and through various mechanisms like def deflection, deflection, luminescence, the light is scattered towards the edge, which is the infrared now, and that is converted into uh, electricity. Another beauty about our product is that it can be scaled up, which is very important for new technologies because that's the biggest problem they'll all uh, come across. Uh, we can go as high as uh, floor to ceiling, which is three and a half meters high, up to 1.8 meters wide. Uh, another big thing with our uh, uh, technology is that the product is certified both in the US under UL, IEC under Europe, 
and the product is in production so we are ready for sales in fact we're on the runway now looking to move the to the commercial side of our business this is a development which we developed uh, in fact late last year but we're now going to focus on it heavily in the coming year in terms of the ai uh, as you can see there the power that we produce we actually make the windows more functional whereby they can uh, close and open blind cavities they are sealed within the unit so uh, you can't touch them you don't have to bother ever cleaning them it also has uh, light control so you can actually control the amount of light coming into the building it has other functions it has uh, fresh, air, fresh air into the the room and that's becoming a big uh, point talking point lately and even the new south wales government and some american governments are talking about bringing fresh air into the classroom as opposed to sharing uh, you know shared ducting so i think that product definitely has a, a big future uh, on the way we can also of course add security which is not dependent on mains so it'll always be active because we provide the power i want to now go to our american activities and uh, I mentioned this before that we're doing quite a lot of work in the US where we are, whereby we're producing um, you know, our single glazing as well as our double glazing products. The reason for that is it then adds to our portfolio where we currently have a triple glazed. We will then be able to have the single glazing and that's more for the automobile or transport market. You'll have the double glazed uh, which many markets uh, don't use triple glaze so that would uh, fit the gap there and in fact uh, that's the that's the product that we will be using in uh, into the uh, New York uh, trial coming back to the New York demonstration that's run by NYSERDA NYSERDA is the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. They are the guys that are actually running this trial. Um, it's called the Empire Building Challenge, this trial. And they aim to make New York City a hub for low carbon retrofit buildings. NYSERDA is seeking to transform the city uh, the city's existing buildings, building stock into buildings of the future. That's the point. It's a city of over 3 billion square feet, consisting of medium to high rise construction. In October 2020, we were invited to participate in, a, in this project to install Clearview Advanced Technology based glazing solution in a prominent high-rise New York building. The building owners trialing several solutions that could help achieve net zero across its portfolio and demonstrate to other owners, uh, first of all, to follow the same. There are 10 uh, property uh, owners, uh, prominent property owners who are involved in this challenge. And in fact, uh, Governor Cuomo announced in April that 10 prominent real estate groups as partners in the state's initiative to establish private-public partnerships and usher in the next generation of high-rise, low-carbon buildings to actually uh, combat the climate change. Clearview is very pleased to confirm that the installation of the Clearview Solar PV glazing has been completed. With formal commencement of the demonstration pending the installation of the other trial participant solutions. Unfortunately, there have been delays and that's due to COVID and as well shipping. Shipping is a nightmare. So, uh, that's been that's been the main uh, pro problem for the delay of it moving forward. Uh, another problem pro probably is because each of the ten buildings are responsible for trialing uh, some new technology 
within the building that can make it more energy efficient, such as heating, cooling, uh, boilers, whatever, and of course glazing, which is where we fit in. Um, NYSERDA are offering a $50 million prize for the best technology that they can demonstrate. And this announcement will only be made when NYSERDA are ready to, nom to announce the winner. So nothing can happen until that uh, happens. As a genuine solution for reducing, e for reducing energy consumption and carbon emissions in buildings, the performance of Clearview's patented energy efficient, energy generating product will help demonstrate technical and economic feasibility of retrofitting tall buildings to achieve low carbon standards. New York State has ambitious goals to adopt low carbon retrofits to existing buildings on a broad scale. There is a growing demand for technology that reduces the carbon footprint of buildings, and we are delighted that Clearview is at the forefront of helping transform existing buildings in New York City into buildings of the future. Hmm. Through the Empire Building Challenge, NYSERDA and leading New York property owners and developers participating in this challenge intend to demonstrate real solutions for retrofitting tall buildings to low carbon standards and generate blueprints for such owners and developers to replicate these solutions across their portfolio of existing buildings and for greenfield construction. The purpose of the New York trial is to demonstrate the technical and economic feasibility of retrofitting tall buildings to low carbon standards and generating blueprints so building owners can replicate the solutions across the portfolio of the buildings. That is really the purpose of the trial. Being invited to be part of the trial as a low carbon retrofit solution for large scale energy efficient uh, improvements in high rise buildings in such a prominent city as US, a city in the US is an incredibly significant opportunity for Clearview to help transform existing building stock into buildings of the future. Yep. Yep. I just want to talk about data. Yeah, of course. Of course. Are you, do you uh, want to end the presentation there? We, there we can talk about the. Uh, I don't actually have there, but I do want to talk about it because a lot of activity happening in Europe right now. Uh, Dieter has been very active in Europe. He's attended two conferences and he's getting a lot of traction and a lot of interest. On the 14th of September, he was at the symposium Solaris Baum in Zurich. Uh, we, in fact, he showed off one of our demo units. Uh, and of course, he had a lot to talk about it and the unit itself attracted uh, a lot of the, uh, the audience. Uh, just recently, the 22nd, 21st and 22nd of October, he was at the 16th Advanced Building Skin Conference uh, Expo in Switzerland. In fact, Dieter gave a presentation, which was great. It was integrating solar technologies into facades. Again, he met a, a very receptive audience and some of the bigger players that I've dealt with before were also there and have come up to him and expressed an interest to work with us again. The likes of Asahi, AGC, one of the largest glass companies, as well as Eastman Chemicals. Eastman Chemicals is where I did all my work on, uh, oh, right. test on testing our powders to see that the, uh, the, life, the lifespan of the powder within the PVB, you know, uh, how long it would be. And more important, that there was no interaction between our powders and any of the chemicals that they had in the PVB. And the product, of course, came through with flying colors. 
Mm. Furthermore, well, I think a lot of people were wondering, in particular with uh, the European activities, uh, was the addition of your new executive director, uh, John Downs, as well. Um, I, I know a lot of investors I've spoken to and a lot of um, people that ha have been talking about Clearview in particular have said that the, that appointment of De John especially was a major one, especially coming from Len Lees. What, what was the sort of uh, meaning of him coming across and what, what do you, what's the purpose of uh, uh, him coming across uh, to help out Clearview in Europe? Well, you know what, he works for, as you know, Lend Lease, and Lend Lease have um, put out a policy statement that they want to be zero carbon by 2030. Okay. You know, that's a big ask and a big achievement. Everybody's talking 2050. So they are looking for solutions now that I think that can help them to actually meet their own 2030 targets. And I think that's the reason why John Downs has joined our board, because we are one of the companies that can definitely assist them. They do have a sample of our product. They've seen it. And I think that's where the interest lies. And, you know, he is a, uh, a big man in the industry. He is the global head of the uh, Lend Lease Facade supply chain, and it's based in London. Uh, he brings about 30 years of experience into uh, glazing and facade system and construction. And that definitely adds weight uh, into our board because we really need industry players as part of our directors on the board. So, yes, it, it was. A does that mean the UK market is a major market you're, you're going to be going towards, Victor? Definitely. But also, Lend Lease. Uh, are all over. They've got properties they're in the US, they're in Australia, they're in Asia, and in the UK. So him being the global head of the supply chain, he's the man that will be looking for the products that are going to help them uh, make their buildings carbon neutral or carbon zero. So strategically, I think it was a good move from both them, and of course for us, it's a strategic move as well. Yes, we're very pleased with it, and uh, I think we'll see a lot to come out of it in the not too distant future. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's very good to hear. And yeah, no, that's I, really excellent news. I understand uh, that you spoke about the US uh, quite a bit. Um, is there any more activities regarding uh, more or less what's happening in the US with the single and double glazed products? Is is that been further developed in the US? Well, they, they, they were all part of the new challenge that I discussed that's happening in New York. Right, yeah. They, in fact, the double glaze was specifically developed uh, to be part of that uh, challenge because it had to be a retrofit. All those old buildings in New York, of which there are, I don't know, 50,000, I'm not sure, but it's a big number. They're all going to have to go through the same process of uh, upgrading their buildings to reduce their carbon and become more energy efficient. Therefore, Excellent. this product fits in well. The other beauty with our product, we can make it to actually fit the size of the hole or where the window currently is. Uh, and that's very important. Uh, one or two of the other technologies that are part of this trial. I'm not sure if they uh, have the ability or can actually match the exact window size. Uh, and, and that will be the same problem with all the other buildings because the old buildings, they don't have these enormous uh, spans of glass, you know. So yes, that's the reason. And, uh, and again, we, are, we can scale according to size. So our product yeah, is perfectly into, that, uh, into the gap. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Because as as we know at the moment with uh, climate change, uh, of course, we've got that conference happening in Glasgow um, very soon. Uh, we've seen uh, Scott Morrison go across uh, over there and, and we're going to have a bit more of a chat about that. But how at the moment is Clearview trying to promote themselves as potentially one of Australia's largest uh, renewable developments? Because the products that, that's been developed at the moment could solve a lot of issues. And 
I think investors want to know more or less how you're getting your name out there to be the, the front runner uh, for this change in the market. Okay, so let's talk about COP26 and I think that's important because that's coming up and that's yep. going to set future uh, runway for all uh, the greenhouse uh, improvements, developments, uh, targeting uh, zero reduction or whatever else. You know, there have been several revolu revolutions in the past. You know, we had the big industrial revolution many, many years ago. That was followed by the uh, the, the tech revolution, mm -hmm. and that recently was followed by the digital revolution. But now we have the biggest of them all, called the green industrial revolution. And Clearview is definitely going to be part of this green revolution. According to the Bloomberg Energy Foundation, between 78 trillion and 130 trillion of new investments is needed by 250 in order to enable the world to meet these environmental targets. Where we fit in here in a big way is because buildings make up for about 40% of carbon efficient, um, emission. Making buildings more efficient will go a long way to achieving the COP26 goals being zero net energy by 2050. So CPV is a solution technology, and it's part of the solution in achieving and reaching the net zero carbon emission, the net zero energy, and of course, reducing the carbon footprint of the buildings. So we will fit in there. I'd actually just like to mention a couple of other highlights to do with COP, if I may. Yep. The objectives of COP is to secure global net zero and keep the temperature at a maximum of one and a half degrees. Protect the global habitats and communities. Establish frameworks for global co uh, cooperation. Deliver on financing. Each uh, country is committed to, uh, to spend at least 100 billion per annum to provide capital for decarbonization activities or initiatives. And they have to be, reach the goal of one and a half degrees. That's most important. Uh, key objectives of C26 is to harness a combination, as you know, of both government and private finance to progress decarbonisation of both the developed and developing countries. New low carbon buildings and building retrofits are a definite opportunity for clear few products. That's exactly our business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Clearview products will provide the solution that offers both high insulation factors and energy products. Yep. Clearview, I'll, I'll are just you... on that, Victor, uh, we emerging economies in Asia Minor, in particular, some of the largest largest economies uh, of adoption of these renewable energies. We're yeah. seeing that, for example, Vietnam has been another company that uh, country sorry over the last 10 years that's been able to increase their uh, generation of renewable energy by tenfold yeah. are these the sort of markets as well that Clearview could be potentially targeting as a major growth area as well yes the whole of Asia is coming on board now definitely we are focusing heavily on Europe and the US Mm -hmm. But Asia is uh, also coming on board, and we will look at them next year, yes. Okay, yep. You know, just to finish one thing again, that Clearview products are uniquely positioned to take advantage of all the siege surge in the green uh, building finance due to the combination of our power production and our high thermal insulating properties. I want to then talk about the uh, archetype. Now that's yep. a building. Yeah, that again is a uh, a building that we have developed, and that will show you how important our pro our glass is in helping to achieve standards up to 230 to 250 on its own already. Wow. So. In this archetype, we have delivered major advantages for reducing carbon footprints. 
Clearview has commissioned an energy modeling and performance verification specification business called Footprint. They're very well recognized and well respected by all the architects. We have modeled a 15,000 square meter building in Canada using our CPV glazing alone. When considering a building's thermal performance, which is key factor in energy consumption, traditionally windows have been the weak link. Clearview, Clearview windows make it possible to achieve a low carbon footprint without sacrificing the natural light and the views that everybody wants from an office building. CPV insulated glass units not only deliver energy, but also have excellent thermal insulating properties, which we're able to produce a building that has a total energy intensity lower than is defined by the Toronto Green Standard, which exceeds the new Can Canadian uh, construction standards for 2030. I would just like to actually, uh, you can't see it, but I'd just like to mention in this uh, modeling that we have received, the uh, energy demand or the energy used in a building currently, that's 2018 to 2022, uses 175 kilowatt hours per square meter per year. Our product in the building has reduced that to 63.2 kilowatt hours per square meter. Uh, per year. That complies with the 2030 requirements. Yeah, and well, also, I mean, these are the numbers I'm giving you. So we are, we are actually a major player, we're going to be a major player in helping people to actually meet the new demands and the new global requirements that are actually being put in forward, uh, including the carbon, you know, we, we would produce uh, a maximum of 3.2 uh, kilo, uh, kilos of carbon per square meter. Uh, going back to 2018, it's 20. So again, we are meeting the standards for 2030 to 2050. And in order to go to the zero after 250, uh, we can then, of course, now work together with solar panels, which would take us to absolutely net zero. The most compelling feature is that Clearview technology can deliver this result with a window wall uh, fenestration ratio of 70% glass to 30% of building material. This data is most compelling not only for new construction, but for decarbonization of existing buildings and will be a key factor in achieving carbon reduction targets in the coming years. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. That's good to hear. You know, and I just want to actually talk about the other important thing we're doing, because all of these are all leading to uh, making the product super compelling. We're actually doing the life cycle analysis and the environmental production declaration, which you need to have as well. So we've engaged a carbon footprinting specialist called uh, Pleiades Environmental Accounting to work on our product life cycle assessment to generate an environmental product de uh, declaration. And we're aiming at three markets right now, and that is Australia, the US, and to Europe. And that uh, EB EPD, which is the environmental product declaration, is actually considered an essential tool for selling sustainability focused to, to say sustainability focused in customers. Having an EPD will benchmark our products performance and help the buildings they are installed in achieve accreditation for green building certification in the US and the EU through the awarding of carbon credits because our product is carbon negative. So moving forward, Clearview views the EPD as a critical tool for demonstrating not only the company's commitment to, to sustainability, but mm -hmm. also that our 
compliance by making it easier to choose a low carbon product and comply with the embodied carbon legislation within the territories. So basically, our CPV window should generate excellent uh, the LCA uh, numbers when compared to other glazing options in the market. And that is another very important uh, number that we will be picking up within the next four months. Oh, very exciting. <laughs> yes, so that gives people the real update. And uh, you know what? It shows exactly where we're traveling and uh, all yep. this is work that's in place and currently happening. Just my last uh, statement I'd like to finish off is, you know, our Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, made a statement uh, two days ago on climate. And he said, although Scott Morrison does not appear to be very popular at the moment following the release of the Australian climate plan to be submitted at COP26, being described by some as the rich world's weakest link with yep. hollow net zero and emission pledges, his plan did emphasize technology and not taxes and ensuring we have a portfolio of technologies that can deliver the outcome we want to deliver, which is net zero by 250. And to that end, I say to our Prime Minister, Clearview is here and we are ready to join that portfolio of technologies. Excellent. Well, I'm, sure, thank you. I'm sure that you could, uh, we'll, we'll show our faces again now, um, yes. but I'm sure that You've definitely um, uh, had chats uh, with with uh, government bodies about potentially using your technology with trying to get um, to get to where where it needs to be. But at the moment, we have we do have a few questions that we'll run through. Um, a few of these questions are to do with Clearview technology in particular. Uh, we have one here. Uh, it's regarding what is the progress for Clearview products applying to other industries, such as car and truck industry? Okay, hence I mentioned part of the development work I'm doing in the US is single glazed. So that's a product that's probably about seven mil wide. It will uh, allow more than 70% of visible light through because that's, uh, you, uh, that's, that's the uh, regulation for cars. And it will provide power and also insulating properties so you can reduce the uh, temperature inside the cabin therefore you would use le less air conditioning therefore less power and also produce power from the edges that's something we're busy developing and that's probably about a year away but we're busy with it in the right time okay, okay that's excellent we got a question here from also curtis uh when are we uh it's to do with revenue What's the sort of revenue outlook that we're looking for at the moment? What's what's the sort of growth that we should be expecting from uh, Clearview at the moment? Well, uh, now that we've got our CEO in Europe and he's doing a lot of work and getting a lot of traction and making a lot of contacts, unfortunately, the construction industry is not something you sell today and it happens tomorrow. They're often two or three year programs. Uh, but I do believe that during the course of 222, we will start picking up contracts, uh, although they might, will not be delivered in uh, 222, but they may be for delivery a year later. But we will start picking up contracts. And once you start picking them up, then the cycle will just, you know, just keep on turning. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely by the next half of uh, next year, uh, we should start seeing some uh, real traction coming in in terms of uh, to use the product orders. Beautiful. Uh, we've got another question here from Ricky um, and a few other shareholders, it looks like. Uh, they're wanting to hear more about the American demonstration. Is there any potential dates? Is is there, what's a, here's one, what's the sort of competition that's also uh, entered into this uh, into this demonstration? Okay, so the other competitions are people that are dealing with heating systems or cooling systems or boilers. Uh, you know, all of those buildings, the 10, are all doing some trial using uh, something that's going to help the building become more efficient. That's what the NYSERDA, uh, 
that's the Nasurda trial. The building we're in, the trial there is windows. So uh, to answer your question, that's under the control of Nasurda. And I think they're waiting to get the information from the 10 buildings uh, as to the results of uh, the trials for NYSERDA to announce the winner. The winner will receive a check of 50 million uh, to actually start doing renovations to his building. So it's a big picture there. We're dealing with the, the electricity uh, company there. We're dealing with the state of New York. Uh, and you're dealing with 10 uh, really big um, property companies. So we have to wait. We're in the pipeline, we're in the building. Uh, we just got to wait. I just can't give a time. It's unfortunately out of my hands. Okay, okay. Um, we've got another question here. The technology with the tinting seems very impressive. Uh, does the UV protection also affect algae, algae growth? I think this is for a certain sector, um, which would in yeah. turn reduce the amount of chlorine required for public pools, for example. Is this the sort of well, sector that the product could be using? Yes, that's quite right. Uh, in fact, uh, you need to protect uh, algae from, um, from bright sunlight. And uh, reducing the infrared and the UV will actually reduce their growth. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. Well, I think that sums up majority of the questions that we have at the moment. I think the one final question is, um, where do you see Clearview in five, year five years' time? Victor, that's, that's pretty much what the next question is. Uh, where, where do you see Clearview in five years' time? Are, are we going to be the market leader or what are we going to be? Okay, I see Clearview as a dominant player in the energy efficient windows because to date we're the only ones that have a clear window that uh, produces electricity and is carbon negative there will be others to come but uh, the way we're positioning ourselves and laying the found our foundations are getting more solid by doing all these archetypes by doing the life cycle assessments uh, it's just put and by doing the big trial coming up in new york it's really going to put us in a leadership role, and uh, I will look. I'm also looking to appoint a CEO in uh, North America, in uh, US. I hope to do that uh, by April next year, so that will give us feet on the ground, like we're getting traction in Europe. Yeah, I see Clearview as a uh, big player in this whole big green industrial revolution. No doubt about it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, that sums it up nicely. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for attending our webinar. Um, my name is Lachlan Callahan from Ford and Moth, obviously, but this will be recorded and put up on our Port Jackson website. I once again want to thank Victor for uh, coming back with us in Port Jackson and um, presenting another beautiful uh, presentation and answering questions that we've had for today. Uh, thank you, Victor, very much. It's my absolute pleasure and I hope that the uh, viewers enjoyed the, uh, the update and it's all to make the business solid so that it can build high buildings to go for. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, everyone have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.